Anthony Bourdain. That's right. I write, I travel, I eat, and I'm hungry for more. My friend Lucy Garcia has taken me about a half hour north of Barcelona to the seaside village of Villasar de Mar. This is what I love and hate about this country, though, is that just in this one block as we walk up to the place we're going to eat, I'm seeing six other places I want to go in and go to eat something. Taverno L'Espinolera looks like a million other old man bars, a local joint. The uninitiated might be forgiven for being unimpressed. Oh, come on. My head is swimming looking at this stuff. Okay, well, we're going to get... Not this. We're going to order something a bit more special. Yet what you were seeing is, in fact, some of the finest, most delicious, and most expensive seafood in the world. Here, the best stuff comes straight off the boat and into the can, about a year ago. Almejas de aquellas, la de las top top. Miguel Tapias is no ordinary barkeep. He's the fourth generation in his family to run Espinalera, and it was his idea to start selling canned seafood products, ranging from razor clams to cockles, mussels, and otoro quality tuna. He wanted to expand the business, and he decided, why not go and get the best products where they're available at their freshest, and so he goes himself every, every year to Galicia as soon as the season starts, mm -hmm. and he sometimes personally buys the crates takes them to a cannery where everything's done very manually right very very carefully rest assured this stuff bears no relationship to the can of smoked oysters you ate stoned and desperate at two in the morning back at college this is the world's very best seafood and here's what's so mind-blowing it only gets better in the can you want to hit it yes yes i do mm. beautiful huh very velvety just flavor, color, texture, it's just all yeah, perfect. I should mention, by the way, that this stuff is expensive, like nosebleed expensive. One of these little six-ounce bad boys can set you back about... 156 euros. So this is like a $250 can, and we're eating with toothpicks. I love this. I mean, you know, the general assumption is that when you put something in a can, you're losing something. In, th in this case, you're flavor. absolutely something bringing else something else. Flavor, yeah. Clams have a bit of fat content. After a year, they actually get better. The fat starts to blend in the juice. Look at the fat, Tony. Look at the oil. Yeah, the little beads of fat See? floating in there. They even look beautiful. They are little gems. There's something so, I don't know, liberating, so democratic, so fun about nibbling food this great off a weathered wood bar top. At its best, it's so many good things at once. A beer or vermouth in hand, lively social setting, a comfortable, movable feast where you come and go, eat or don't eat when you please. How can any chef do better for you than that? Oh, so good.